Hello, today in this lecture 3, I'm going to explain you something on simple electrical circuits, which basically comprises of series and parallel elements. So what is an electric element? An electric element can be a power supply source, a resistance or any passive component or even like fuse or load or something of that sort. So assuming we have an element E1 which has two terminals. Okay, and suppose we have another element E2, which again has two terminals. We name the terminals as say 1 and 2, and say 1 and 2. In series connection of circuits, if we connect these two terminals in this fashion, it becomes a series electrical circuit. On the contrary, if we take the same element E1 having the terminals 1 and 2 and E2 as again 1 and 2 and instead of connecting second terminal a uh, second uh, terminal of element 1 to the first terminal we connect both first hands together like this and both the second hands together like this so this becomes a Parallel electrical connection. Now let us suppose uh, try replacing this electrical element by a different units. Assuming we take electrical unit E1 as a voltage source, say V1, which has, sorry, I can try something like this, say V1, which has two terminals, one positive and one negative. Name it again 1 and 2 and this is again V2, second voltage source with 1 and 2, which is again positive and negative. Connecting the negative terminal of the first voltage source to the positive terminal of the second voltage source makes it as a series voltage source element. Similarly, if the same voltage source V1 is taken, with plus and minus here and the second voltage was V2 with 1 and 2 here and instead of connecting the terminals from the previous one like this if we connect the positives of each of the terminals like this and the negatives of both the terminals like this this becomes a parallel voltage source um, similarly, suppose we replace this voltage source by a passive component assuming a resistance. The symbol of a resistance is like a zigzag pattern with two terminals. And why zigzag pattern? Is because it impedes the current that floats through it. So we name this resistance as R1 and this resistance is R2. It has same terminals 1 and 2 here and again 1 and 2 here. If we connect these two terminals like this, this means R1 and R2 are in series. And what is the effective resistance value? Uh, we will explain to those, uh, we will come to those um, terms a little bit later in this video. Uh, for now, R1 and R2 connecting terminals like this will make a series connection. And an R1 and R2 connected like this will make it as a parallel connection okay now let us try putting these things in electrical circuits and see how they behave assuming we draw one voltage source V plus and minus here and we connect a resistance R1 through this between these two terminals. As per Ohm's law is defined, V is IR, which basically means the voltage across these two terminal points or the potential difference is a factor of the current that flows through this line I 
multiplied by the resistance R. In this case, say R1. Okay. Now, assuming uh, we cut out this line and add one more resistance, which is R2, in series, as we discussed earlier, something like this. So, what will happen here is a current that flows through R1 will now flow through R2 as well back to the negative terminal. Um, I take something analogy uh, of a water supply in my earlier videos I was ex as I was explaining. So this is a water tank, overhead water tank, which fills in water through this pipe to the drain and resistance is basically the amount of force you are applying to squeeze in the pipe to allow less flow of water. In this case, the flow of water is the flow of current, which here is I. So this flow of water is basically the flow of current. So this resistance R, or rather R1 in this case, controls the amount of current that flows through the pipe or the current amount of current that flows through this wire. If we apply some more force here or apply some more resistance between these two pipes, which is say R2, the amount of current that will flow through this pipe will be reduced by the factor R2 as well. So what this means? This means that if we apply a, a resistance or rather uh, n number of resistance in series, it reduces the current flow through the wire. So now in this new circuit diagram, the current is the voltage V is basically I R1 plus R2. Okay. So try to analyze it this way. The current I here, in this case, let me pick some other sort of color. The current I here is V divided by R1, okay. If you apply more resistances in series, the current will reduce further with a factor of another R2. So the more resistances you keep on adding in series, the more current will reduce eventually. Now, let us try explaining this same circuit diagram with parallel combination of resistances. We have the same voltage source V which is connected to this R. Suppose we draw R like this, we will say R1. So the current that flows through this line is basically I1, named I1. So I1 is voltage V divided by R1, isn't it? Now let's assume uh, we put one more resistance in parallel, say resistance R2. The voltage across these two terminals continue to be V as a main voltage source because this is the same terminal. The current flowing this two terminals again controlled by Ohm's law will be this voltage of this V divided by R2, right? And so on and so forth. If we connect more resistances in parallel, say Rn, there will be more current which will be flowing through this, which will be In, is basically voltage V divided by Rn. So in all this case, if you see, the voltage source across these two terminals remains constant, V. So what if uh, we need to understand or manage to calculate what is the overall full total current that is flowing through this 
positive terminal and return to this negative terminal. We name it say i. So this current i, as you can see, is now a factor of all this or addition of all this individual currents i1, i2 and so on up to in. Right? It basically means the current i is basically if we just replace i1 by this equation v1 by r1 v by r1 and i2 by v by r2 and so on and so forth by v by rn and if we take v common factor for all then it becomes let v become something like 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 and so on plus 1 by rn right so what we try to do here is that the current i this current i is basically v divided by this whole r right so we name it the whole effective resistance is r so if you see if we can write it something like this v is equal to v into 1 by r right so what it basically means if you see carefully this 1 by r is an equivalent resistance of summation with an inverted values of individual resistances which brings us to the formula of an effective resistance in parallel as 1 by r is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 and so on and so forth 1 by rn depending on number of resistances in the line. This means that the effective resistance if we connect resistance in parallel reduces because this factor is less than R1. So if you have suppose R1 connected between these two terminals initial stage we put one more resistance R2 here this combination of R1 and R2 is going to be less than one resistance R1 alone. You connect one more resistance R2, R3 and so on to Rn the overall effective resistance between these two terminals will reduce even further. In contrary to the series resistance where you keep multiple resistance in uh, next to each other the resistance increases. So let me try summing up what we just derived here for series and parallel resistance that if one resistance R1 and another resistance R2 and so on and so forth for n number of resistances Rn, the effective resistances increases. So the effective resistance R effective is basically R1 plus R2 and so on and so forth till Rn. Whereas if the resistances are in parallel, something like this, which is like R1, R2, R3, the effective resistance 1 by R, which is this effective resistance, or we name it R effective, is summation of inversion, inverted values of each of these individual resistance component. So in series, in series, resistances increases. In parallel connection, the resistance, overall effective resistance decreases. Now let us try seeing the same phenomenon of series and parallel with voltage sources. Assuming we take a voltage source V1 with two terminals 1 and 2 plus and minus and other two terminals for a voltage V2 source plus and minus. Assuming the voltage uh, the terminals are between these two connected in a series like this. So the effective voltage between these two V effective 
between this terminal point and this terminal point which is V effective will be V1 plus V2 okay whereas if you take these terminals say V1 uh, say, sorry the voltage source is V1 and V2 and connect them in parallel something like this the effective voltage source in this case we have to assume for time now the V1 and V2 is same as V otherwise there will be uh, current which will be draining from the high voltage source to the low voltage source if both are not same so assuming these two voltage sources are same and we connect in parallel connection so the V effective across these two terminals which is V effective is V because these two terminals is same so for V1 these are the two terminals for V2 these are the same two terminals so the effective voltage between these two terminals is V for a parallel connection whereas in series connection the effective voltage is V1 and V2 so now let's conclude what we have discussed so far about series and parallel connections that in series elements add up in parallel the elements if it is resistance then adds up something like this to reduce the effective resistance of each of them if it is voltage it remains v across these two terminals okay uh, thank you for this video uh, watching this video uh, in my further lectures i'll be explaining more on capacitances inductance and how they are connected in series and parallel and let me try to explain you how to do some sort of a network analysis um, on circuits on electrical circuits and electronic circuits Later towards uh, our lecture, we'll explain more on transistors and how transistors operate and so on and so forth. Thank you.